Okay, so what do we need to do? We need to do a few other things with that. So the first thing we want to do is we want our target, right? Our target parameter, our target parameter called top. So target.par.top is going to be equal to just this thing right here. Boop. And we can just go ahead and get rid of this for a moment. Excellent. So that's the first thing that we need to do. The next thing that we need to do is we need to set in our cache we need to set this replace index. Now you'll notice that our replace index has to go back in time, right? Like it exists in negative space. That's okay. So here we're going to make sure that our cache.par and the parameter in our cache called replace index, right? Cache par replace index is going to be equal to the opposite of item or negative item. We could kind of think of them the same way, right? Because it's going to be, remember we added one here. So if we just went back the way it was before, it was 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is great. So instead it's going to be 0, negative 1, negative 2, 3, 4, 5. Slick. Looking good. Looking good. We're getting close. And then the last thing that we need to do is we need to on our cache, we need to pulse this little single replace parameter. Okay, so our last set of instructions is cache par replace pulse dot pulse. Okay, now with any luck, we'll be able to right click run this. Oh, we missed something. Oh, and I misspelled cache. That's all. C. A C H E. I hope that's right. Let's try that again. Oh, I missed another one. Replace pulse. Replace S pulse. Wow, that is just goes to tell you how important spelling is. You should practice at home, kids. Really. It is very, very important. And it looks like I still misspelled it. That's all right. We can track it down. We have got the technology, I promise. All right, let's make sure we got it here. Replace, replace S pulse. Okay, let's see if we got it right. That time, we sure did. Did we? Let's go ahead and add a cache select. And we can use our cache select with our cache. And we can check. Negative one. We need closer so we can see it. Negative two. Oops. Negative two. It looked like three was there already. Three. Good. Four. <gasps> Lovely. Five. Okay, let's, oh, you know, let's just run this one more time, and we should make sure, yeah, there we go, looking good, looking good, we got everything. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and select both of these and turn off their displays, so now they're not going to cost us anything, and now we can finally move on to some more fun stuff, right? So what we get to do now is actually build all the buttons out. And we'll see why we did this miserable bit first. I know, it was really a bummer. Um, at some point you'll see Python is super fun and you'll wanna do it all the time. And if that's not what you're feeling yet, that's okay, I promise, it'll get better.